What's going on, everybody? I recently updated to Simu 1.26.2 from Simu 1.22. Uh, I don't like to auto update Simu because in the past I've had uh, game save files get corrupted, uh, shader cache issues, performance issues. So I do not use auto. Um, I don't use auto update. So the reason why I updated because they ha now have support for the uh, the gyros, like the motion controls. They I, I want to say PlayStation 5 and Wii U, the Wii U Pro Controller. So it, just a lot easier to uh, do those puzzles and stuff. I used to use OpenGL, but it's not really a, a good option on this version of Simu, so I have to use Vulkan. I was using OpenGL on 1.22 with no issues. Check shader compile audio X audio 2 48 ms latency. The only thing I like to show is the, the frames per second to like see if there's a big drop in frames. If I notice a big dip in frames, then I usually try to go into the settings. Right click the game, and this right here you have to do game by game basis. Thread quantum. Load shared libraries. Shared. And then graphics pack. So on the cheats, durability and infinite stamina is the only two cheats that I use. Makes the game a little bit funny in my opinion. Uh, mods, I check on draw distance and extended mirror and fps plus if you're not using it you know it doesn't hurt to check it unless you got a bunch of stuff running in the background so i just do 60 fps i could do 120 but 60 fps is fine with me workarounds anything has to, I have an Nvidia graphics card so I just checked everything in video graphics now I have an ultra wide monitor so I use 21 by 9 aspect ratio the one you're probably going to be using is you know most people have 16, 16 by 9 like especially if like you're using a laptop or something like that I have a 14 uh, I have a 2k monitor so my resolution is a uh, by 1440 I turn the shadows up to 200% Th these are like settings from like how I've been had it all right I do want to show everybody this this is what I did so I downloaded the uh, I downloaded the shader catch extracted it Extract it here, and then it's gonna pop up. You wanna open it up, go inside transferable, copy these. You wanna copy those, then go back, go back, go into shader catch, the transferable, and you wanna paste those right here. Now I already did it, so I don't have to do it again. So that's what I did. And I would suggest, it's, if you're upgrading CMU, just Inst install the update in another section of your computer keep your old one you know until until you know you uh until you're for sure that everything has gone right is going to work out all right so i just finished compiling i'm gonna go back to the same so what i like to do if i'm in a basement and i boot up cmu it's gonna uh, start me off where I left off at. If I go upstairs, it's gonna pick me up where I left off at. If I get on my laptop, it's gonna pick me right up where I left off at. Now see, it's still gonna compile some shaders, but it's not gonna be nearly as many. Look at that. That, little, that explosion right there. Excuse 
excuse me for being a bit rusty. I haven't really played this in, uh, it's been what, six months, something like that. So, let me just I can run through, not getting that many stutters and pauses. Compile the shader. See, like, look, it's, it's compiling one shader instead of, like, 70 at a time. Oh, this looks... I forgot what I was down here doing. She gonna give it to us again and see if she's saving. Uh oh, we got some money. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you got any questions. Peace out.